Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible, Isaiah chapter 7 from the King James Version Bible. It speaks about sign of Emmanuel. A very important chapter. Now, it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzai, king of Judah, that Rezan, king of Syria, and also Pekah, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, went up to Jerusalem to make war against it but could not prevail against it and it was told to the house of David saying Syria's forces are deployed in Ephraim so his heart and the heart of his people were moved as the trees of the woods are moved with the wind then the lord said to isaiah go out meet to go out now to meet ahaz you and shear jashu your son shear jashu your son at the end of the aqueduct from upper pool on the highway to the fuller's field and say to him take heed and be quiet do not fear or be faint hearted for these two stubs of smoking fire brands for the fierce anger of Rezan and Syria and for the fierce anger of Rezan and Syria and the son of Remala because Syria Ephraim and the sons of Remala have taken evil counsel against you saying let us go up against Judah and trouble it and let us make a gap in its wall for ourselves and set a king over them the son of Abel thus says the Lord God it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass for the head of Syria is Damascus and the head of Damascus is Rezan within 65 years Ephraim will be broken so that it will not be a people the head of Ephraim is Samaria and the head of Samaria is Remalah's son if you will not believe surely you shall not be established moreover the lord spoke again to ahaz saying ask a sign for yourself from the lord your god ask it either in the depth or in the height above but ahaz said i will not ask nor will i test the lord then he said hear now o lord of david is it a small thing for you to weary men but will you weary my god also therefore the lord himself will give you a sign because the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel 
curds and honey he shall eat that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good for before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose good the land that you dread will be forsaken by both her kings the lord will bring the king of assaria upon you and your people and your father's house days that have not come since the day that ephraim departed from judah and it shall come to pass in that day that the lord will whistle for the fly and that is in the father's part of rivers of egypt and for the bee that is in the land of asaria that will come and all of them will test in the desolate valleys and in the clefts of the rocks and on all thorns and in all pastures in the same day the lord will shave with a hired razor with those from beyond the river with the king of asaria the head and the hair of the legs and will also remove the beard it shall be in that day that a man will keep alive a young calf and two sheep so it shall be from the abundance of milk they give that he will eat curds for curds and honey every one will eat who is left in the land it shall happen in that day that what wherever there could be a thousand wines worth a thousand shekels of silver it will be for brass and thorns with arrows and bows men will come there because all the land will become brass and thorns and to any hill which could be dug with the hoe you will not go there for fear of briars and thorns but it will become a range for oxen and a place for sheep to roam amen here ends the reading of isaiah chapter 7 may god bless the reading as it was having the title sign of emmanuel and it is true as we read in verse 14 which is very important therefore the lord himself will give you a sign behold the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name emmanuel hallelujah emmanuel god with us yes that is the meaning and truly god is there with us living god is there with us god bless you numbers chapter 6 24 to 27 amen amen hallelujah amen